Hey guys, today we're going to be showing you how to make the rattlesnake bracelet. This knot is actually covered in Ashley's Book of Knots, so it's been around for a while, but more recently than that, Weavers of Eternity has covered it in a video. So we're using much his method for turning this knot into a bracelet. So what you'll need for this project is 9 to 10 feet of paracord in one color, and 4 feet of another color. You also need a scissors and a lighter. Let's dive right in. We'll start by taking our shorter piece of paracord and folding it in half. It should be about two feet long then. Then we're going to measure out two feet off the end of our longer piece and fold that over as well. So that when we line them up, all three shorter ends should be just about meeting up. Those are going to become our core strands. This is a three strand bracelet, so a little bit different than what we're used to. Once we've lined up all of our ends, we want to put our longer cord through the middle of that shorter cord and leave a small loop like that, that a diamond knot will fit through in the end. That's going to be our bracelet closure. And then we're going to give us a twist to the side, take our cord that goes underneath, Fold that over again and put it through the loop. Then we can pull this knot to tighten that down. And we have a closed loop. Now our three strands for the center are all set up. And we're just going to have one cord for weaving around all three strands. This is a lot like a fishtail bracelet, except we're weaving it around three strands instead of two. Now we're going to take that longer end and start weaving it around our three core strands. I'm going to lay it out flat, even though it's not a flat bracelet, it's more of a 3D bracelet with our three cores. Um, but I'm going to do a couple weaves with it flat and then we'll flip it up so you can see what it looks like in 3D space. So we'll start by wrapping our cord to the left. Then we're going to go across our two blue cords here. Next, we're going to bring it down behind that and come up right here to the left of our middle cord. And then over the top of that middle cord and down to the bottom of our bracelet. And then over to the, the left. And then again across the right going underneath that middle strand. Now that we got that started, let's flip it up and we can see a little bit more of what's going on here. Alright, so viewed from this angle, we're going to be forming our bracelet going this way, but I'm splaying out the three core strands so that you can see what's happening here. We're going to be moving around the bracelet counterclockwise, but we're going to be wrapping around each strand clockwise. So we want to go around that blue strand. Then we want to come over to this gray strand and come around that clockwise as well. Oops. All right, so we wrapped around that one clockwise. And now we want to wrap around this one clockwise. To come back to our original strand where we started. So one more time. Let's tighten that down a little bit first. Make sure everything's in place. Pulling each of our core strands, except we don't want to pull our, our loop too tight. Wrap around this strand clockwise. Like that. Come to the next one going around counterclockwise. And wrap around that as well. And then this last cord, wrapping around clockwise around that as well. Back to our original side. As we weave, we want to be pushing our weave strands together so that there aren't many gaps to show through. And I like to, as we're doing it, choose one center strand, probably the one that doesn't pull through. So this one here, that's just 
free. So I'll flip over to this other blue strand and that's gonna become the spine that's on the outside of our bracelet. So as you're forming it, you can kind of leave some extra slack in that one so that we gradually start forming it into a loop instead of just a straight line. Let's keep weaving and what I just said will become more clear. All right, now I've weaved a couple inches and you'll notice that our weave is starting to twist. It wants to twist that way because we're weaving the same knot over and over again. Um, so to keep it straight, I like to choose one of the bright colored strands, the one that's in the knot preferably, so it holds tight and just bend our bracelet using that one as the spine. So when it goes on a wrist, you'll kind of see that color popping through. That's gonna keep our bracelet from twisting and just kind of add some color interest. I'm gonna keep on going and I'll show you how to finish it off. All right, so now we've made it to the end of our bracelet. You can size it on and just make sure that it meets up with the end of your loop there. We're gonna make the diamond knot in the end, but we need to clip two of our cords first because the diamond knot only needs two strands. So I'm gonna end our weaving cord and one other. And to do that, I'm gonna do like one knot of the cobra weave or salmon bar, but it's not gonna look like that in the end. So what I'm gonna do is take the weave strand and bring that alongside the back. And then take this top base color and bring that around the back to the right there. Color twists out. And then I'll bring it up through this loop on the, the right side. We'll cinch both of those down, mostly this blue one here. So that kind of hides the end of our cords. We'll clip both of those off and then continue with our diamond knot. fingers out of these scissors. And we'll make our diamond knot. Um, if you haven't made one of those before, um, we've got that covered in a different video. So I'm just gonna make it quick here. So there's our finished bracelet. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a little bit trickier of a tutorial. Hard to keep all those four cords straight and hold on to them all at the same time. But I hope you found it helpful and you're able to make it for yourself. If you're new to the channel, stick around. We put out videos twice a week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.